what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about a few horror updates in this video today we'll be talking about scream 7 we'll be talking about hellraiser and we'll be talking about chucky season 3 part 2 so we're going to start off with scream 7 stars are reportedly already in talks for these three lead roles that were rumored to be casting or being cast for scream 7 remember keep in mind this came from daniel rpk who reported this a few days back that the film is looking for 20 year olds to play two girls and a boy daniel rpk has also recently doubled down on filming beginning this summer and more recently like i mentioned letting us know that stars are already reportedly in talks for these three lead roles i do also want to stress that my mention of a halloween trilogy star and a cocaine bear star possibly being in talks has nothing to do with the 20 year old stars because the stars i heard about are nowhere in their 20s Skeet Ulrich had a sit down with MovieWeb recently calling the firing of Melissa Barrera sad and then he gave his thoughts on where he stands with the upcoming 7th movie in a simple statement. He said, I would imagine I'm probably out of it. He says, yeah, I mean, Skeet's return in 5 and 6, they've been fine. Granted, some people think they've gone overboard with it. I don't really feel like that. I just, I think that in some parts of 5, yes, they should have just shown him a little bit less. I think he was used for an appropriate amount in 6. Far better usage in 6 than five you could argue but i have no doubts he would have appeared in scream 7 the original scream 7 before it was trashed but i'm fine on sydney having more nightmares of dead folks like she did in scream 3 with her mom i don't need her to have any nightmares of billy loomis i don't need her to have any nightmares of mrs loomis anybody she's encountered i don't need there to be any nightmare cameo appearances i'm all good on that i would like us to leave skeet's appearances centric to the same story that was being told i don't want to see skeet in scream 7 if you're just going to thrust him into something with sydney i think he can just remain gone if we're not going to be doing sam story anymore now if you want skeet in scream 7 how would you use him in the film related to sydney since we are led to believe this is going to be sydney centric let me know all that down below also, to the young talent, I guess, that signs on, hopefully you guys are not prematurely removed like the last gen of characters. But diving into Hellraiser, a sequel to David Bruckner's Hellraiser is in the works. Producer Keith Levine sat down with Comic Book recently and shared this update. He said, we're trying to do a follow up and there have been conversations. I can't exactly say where we're at in those conversations, but David Bruckner is involved in those conversations. And we spent a lot of time and energy, I think, relaunching that world. A lot of brain power going into crafting the Cenobite design, figuring out how we're going to pull them off. And we learned so much. And I think moving forward, we love that all the knowledge is sort of sort of banked and that time has been spent. So we think that moving forward, and going into another movie is just going to be even crazier and even more awesome so yeah that's something we're definitely hard at work on and hopefully we will have more news soon i'm going to be honest not even going to pretend i have not revisited that hellraiser movie since it dropped it wasn't bad i i don't recall giving it a bad review i need to honestly re-watch the movie because i can't even remember if i gave it a good or bad review i don't remember the movie being bad i think i gave it a pretty decent or solid review I just never got back around to watching it again, but I'm going to have to revisit that probably around the time I plan to have a Hellraiser marathon because it's been a while since I've watched the Hellraiser movies. I'll just throw that in there. I'm all for a David Bruckner film because he has yet to let me down completely. Jamie Clayton, I think 100% should return as Pinhead as well. She did a fine job in my books. Yes, I understand everyone has their gripes with her being cast in the role. I just didn't really think she did a bad job you can have your gripes with it there's nothing wrong with it if you think she did a bad job fine but i would like to see the final girl who starred in the original not in the original but starred in this last film return as well again i don't remember her name either i'm gonna have to revisit that film and give my thoughts on it as these updates hopefully start coming out related to this hopeful sequel that's on the way i think the other movie that just dropped is on hulu though now the last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be chucky Jennifer Tilly talked about Chucky season three, part two with bloody disgusting, bloody disgusting recently and made this following statement. She said, I have to tell you the second half is batshit crazy. It's insane. We have John Waters coming in. He plays the creepy doll maker that created Chucky. Who better? What better casting? Who else could play the creepy doll maker that created Chucky besides John Waters? Who we adore. John Waters played a character in Seed of Chucky, the pervy paparazzi. He's never played the kindly father. I don't know what something about John. He's 
I don't know what something about John he's got that extra z z that he can play these parts so well. Now I'm not, I'm not kidding. She literally I don't know how to pronounce this word z z. It might actually be z z that she's saying, but I don't know how to pronounce this. Never seen that word before. I'm gonna lean on it. Z, z. She ends by saying he loves Chucky and the Chucky franchise. Now I will circle back to her saying that the second half is insane. Yes, it is crazy. All right. It's crazy how much it goes off the rails, to be quite honest. And I like, like I've mentioned in my previous video, the way season three ends for the trio is something I don't like, but execution could change my outlook on it. I've also saw that Tyler dropped his review and a lot of people have been seeing him give, give some type of reference to what they think I was also referencing. There's a lot that's unresolved by the time season three is over with. So it 100% ends on a cliffhanger. You 100% are going to get a GG reference during part two from Nika. And yes, Tiffany doll will return too. There's also a chase scene between Nika and Tiffany at some point. I saw Tyler mention that Megan is referenced. Yes, not only is Megan referenced, but other horror dolls are referenced like Brahms from the boy and one other doll i think from dead silence from what i've heard i imagine the prison ride is going to be the most entertaining part of the second half but the finale also i think is going to be very mixed for people because of what happens with the trio because of what happens with the trio a lot of people are going to be divided on it i again am stressing that i do not like what they are doing i hope this is something that is resolved in season four I don't like it. And I think Tyler, from what I saw in his review, he didn't like it either. You guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Chucky Season 3 Part 2? What do you hope happens during the season? What do you hope doesn't happen during the season? Let me know all that down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.